the eyes that's saying, I do not know how to do this, even though I know we covered a problem like this similar in our focus lessons. So if you guys have x plus 2, basically that's x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now we're going to be doing problems like this um, today. We're going to be doing problems like this today in, uh, in our class. So it's really important you guys know how to multiply multiple binomials. So anyways, guys, just like as I mentioned, just multiply a binomial times a binomial. Now you could use FOIL. However, I would recommend that if you're having trouble, use the box method. It really helps you organize everything and um, organize everything and to make sure you check your work. Because now, if you do x plus 2 times x plus 2, you're just finding the area of each of every box. And so therefore, x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. x times 2 is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. The 2x are like terms, so we can combine them. So therefore, the product of x plus 2 times x plus 2 is um, x squared plus 4x plus 4. However, that is still being multiplied, Frank, by x plus 2. So now I need to multiply x plus 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 4. Well, again, we can use the box method. But now, rather than having two terms for one of side, I now need to have three terms. So you just create a little bit longer box. So I still do x plus 2. And now I do x squared plus 4x plus 4. Does everybody see what I did? Does everybody see how I did that? Yes? So now we just do the same thing. x times x squared is x cubed. x times 4x is 4x squared. x times 4 is 4x. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. 4x times 2 is 8x. And 2 times 4 is 8. And what's nice about the box method as well is on the diagonal, as long as you write them in standard form, on the diagonal, you have like terms. So now I can write my final answer as x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8. Okay. Now, I'm not going to write, I kind of ran out of um, space here. So you guys can see that this is a polynomial to the third degree. So it's a cubic. And then this polynomial has one, two, three, four terms. So we'd say it's a polynomial with four terms. So it's a cubic polynomial with four terms. That's what you would write down for that problem. Is everybody OK with that?